4.41 a.m. on July 12th, Killian Jornay Borgata bent down, kissed the rock, and made history. He had just shattered the previous course record at the Hard Rock 100, one of the most grueling ultra-endurance races in the world. With an average elevation of 11,000 feet and nearly 68,000 feet of elevation change in unpredictable and often fierce weather, just finishing Hard Rock requires experience, preparation, and a bit of luck. What's remarkable about Jornay's performance is the apparent ease with which he did it. His seemingly playful 22-hour and 41-minute run through the San Juans just weeks after shattering the Denali Ascent record was nothing short of amazing. Two hours, 26 minutes later, second place finisher Julian Chaurier didn't exactly have to bend down to kiss the rock. Severe back pain set in at Maggie Gulch and continued to worsen through the last 15 miles of the race. By the time Chaurier arrived in Silverton, he was bent over 45 degrees and pushing hard on his hiking poles for support and some small measure of relief. This year, the weather on Handy's Peak gave many runners a special challenge. Third place finisher Adam Campbell and his pacer were struck by lightning ground splash as they pushed to top out on the 14,000 foot peak. Both were knocked to the ground and Campbell's headlamp was fried. Neither were seriously hurt, but between the electric shock and the cold, wet, windy conditions, Campbell and his pacer had a long night on the backstretch. Campbell finished in 25 hours, 56 minutes. On the women's side, it was once again a race between Diana Finkel and Darcy Pequeu. Though the pair ran closely together through Uray, Finkel began opening up her lead on Engineer Pass. She continued to extend her lead, gaining a 1 hour, 19 minute advantage coming into Pole Creek. Unfortunately, for the third year in a row, Finkel had to drop late in the race due to health issues. She dropped at Maggie Gulch, and Piquet went on to take the win for the women, with a finish time of 29 hours, 49 minutes. Betsy Kallmeyer, a 15-time Hard Rock finisher, took second, kissing the rock after 37 hours and 47 minutes. Of the 140 lucky starters, 100 finished under the 48-hour cutoff. Performances at the front were impressive, but it's the quiet, steady finisher who comes back year after year, either to compete, pace, or volunteer, that makes Hard Rock so special. In spite of the pain, the heartbreak, and the utter exhaustion this course serves up, Hard Rockers wouldn't miss it for the world.